Well, when she um, sadly lost that battle, um, not only are you coping with the loss of your lovely mum, um, but then things do begin to unravel. And you yeah. mentioned there um, having a roof over your head. Um, and uh, and there, was a, there was a text uh, which said, you've, you've got to move out the home. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, so, I'm, I mean, while, while my mother's husband was away, I received a text message, um, which, for, you know, at, at the same time, for, for whatever reasons, uh, it was obviously unexpected. It was less than a year after Mum passed away. Uh, I, I wasn't, to be honest, I had no idea it would be coming. It wasn't something I knew that I would need to start preparing for mm. at all. Um, but, you know, it's, at the same time, I don't think there's any room for discussion. I didn't really challenge it. I felt, OK. But so there you... was another issue with the... Because when you left, you packed up your belongings. You took the TV, which was your TV, which had been gifted to you. You took photographs, for pictures of your, your brother and you together yeah. with your mother. Things that were yours. Mm -hmm. Things that had a lot of sentimental value, mainly. Uh, pictures and paintings that have been in the family for years. And Michael wasn't happy about this? Uh, he wasn't too happy about it. Um, there was various texts that, that kind of, you know, they said I, I shouldn't have taken those things. Why? Which, well, he, I mean, he mentioned the photo albums he mentioned, you know, he uses them for press. So he asked me, you know, why I took them, but, you know, I was... I just, I, to be honest, I didn't respond. This was a bit further on down the line in yes. the messages received, so I stopped responding. Yeah. We, uh, I mean, we obviously... We were back as well, you know. We had to take the TV back to the house. Um, you know, not, like you said, mm. uh, how dare you take those photos? Uh, I need those for press. Mm. We, um, mm. we obviously have to legally say mm. that, um, that this is your side of the argument. We've approached him uh, for a statement, a, a statement which I'll read in, in just a moment. Mm. Um, but I do legally have to say, yeah. obviously, that we're, you know, we can we just take your word for this. And can we just make it very clear to everyone that, you know, another reason we undenied whether to speak out because we wanted to do things the right way and with dignity and we didn't want to give people the wrong impression, OK? But the fact of the matter is a lot has been said. We knew that people would run with our initial story. OK? But we didn't know so many people would come out of the woodwork with their own events, and I'm sorry to hear that other people have been affected. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that we can comment on, and the only thing that we are putting our name to, is our own story that came out a few weeks ago and this interview. Mm -hmm. And we are not connected. We haven't given the backing for anyone else's stories to come out they're entitled to. That is their business, well, and the, that's fine. There are things that you say that have, that have hurt even more. There was um, an interview a little while ago uh, um, saying that... And this is even tough for me to say, actually, guys, but, I mean, I've got to say it because it's part of the story, that, that, that he, your mother's ghost had come back and he had had intimate relationships mm -hmm, yeah. with that yeah. ghost. Yeah. That's a tough thing to read. It is, it? right? And the thing is, is that that is when I remember coming home and my brother turned to me and said, look, we've, we've got to say something now. And I think what I want people watching to understand is it is about the money. Of course it is. It's about us having the security and that our mother because wanted for us. Wanted right, that. right. But it's also more than that. It's also stopping people making those stories and coming out with those, those kind of allegations mm. when you are trying to deal with the grief of a mother, mm. which we haven't actually really had a chance to do over the last 18 months. Do you see this? I mean, you're, I know that you sort of say you, there's no other option now, that you're going to have to... Legal action is going to have to take place. Mm -hmm. How do you see this ending? I mean, do you see... Well, uh, I would hope we just, hopefully, around a table and mediate. Mm. Yeah. Well, this comes to... This boils down to the statement now, because he said to us, the only comment I will make is we don't have probate yet, mm. and when it's released, that is when I will make my comment. So, obviously, saying that he hasn't got probate, he's saying that he hasn't got access to the assets yet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, yeah. so uh, that none of the money we've apparently seen him spend could have come from there. And that's absolutely fine. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, the, the, the articles, um, the, uh, the things that have been said, the inner appropriate things that have been said um, and the fact that there is nothing in that will that protects us there are no trusts there are no guarantees and we've sat back we've given people the benefit of the doubt we've been patient we've tried to do things the right way and nothing that has occurred has given us reason that we can put all our faith in someone to do the right thing we we don't so what we want is that's absolutely fine but we want security um, we want to know that what I'm unwanted will be done and that we don't have to wake up to any more articles about her. What do you, what advice, just finally, what advice do you give to anyone who, um, who may be thinking about organising their finances and their will? You just have to make sure you, 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 you talk. I mean, there's a, a few times we tried to, 
Um, but I think it must be clear, as, as my brother said, we were never, they, they never sat us down, they never explained what was in there to us together. I, you know, I would like to have done it with my mother, as opposed to us having to ask to see it months after she passed away. We hadn't, we hadn't seen anything. Well, I'm so sorry yeah, you're no, here I'm under so these sorry. circumstances. Exactly. I hope that sense oh, prevails in all of this and that you can actually begin those negotiations and those discussions yeah. in private, yeah. mm. behind closed doors. Yeah. Thank and uh, to, to, to uh, a final conclusion that suits everybody. Really? And thank you both. Thank no, you. No, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank, thank you. you.